Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Vapor Giant V3 Mini. Yes, Mini. It holds five and a half mils of juice. Um, <laughs> these Austrians, I don't know. Uh, this Nico Vapor. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there have been, funnily enough, there have been many iterations of the Vapor Giant in the past, and. For in certain areas of the vaping community, vaping community uh, a lot of people do know just how well these vape. The flavour from them has always been stellar. It really has it's been stellar. Um, they've been very well priced as well when you compare them to the, the higher end, uh, you know, your toots and all that and hurricanes and things like that. You can get just as good a vape from a vapor giant as you can from those devices. That's a fact. Um, this is 87 euros uh, and this was sent direct to me by Nico himself but you can get it at intaste.de I don't know if there's going to be anybody in the UK actually stocking these as yet there are a few changes from previous models um, I'll cover it in the close-ups and we'll talk about it at the end but some of the things that we've been used to with the Vapor Giants are, are now gone and some of the things that we liked are now gone. Some of the things that we didn't have are here. I'll shut up now and we'll just go for some close-ups. As always with uh, the Vapor Giants, they come in little boxes like this. There we go, branded on the side. Inside you're going to find the following. And don't panic, it will be fully assembled when it comes to you. Right, let's start off with this. First thing I have to say is it's 23 millimeters in diameter. 23, not 22. Uh, right, let's get all this out of the way. It's made from a uh, stainless steel. It has a capacity of 5.5mm, uh, 5 5 uh, which uh, for a, a Mini is quite impressive, but there's not a lot Mini about this. Uh, right, let's uh, start off here. Now, we do have peak insulators going on. So, for the first time ever on a Vapor Giant, uh, we have an airflow control ring around the bottom here. And I can just... Yep, there we go. Now, uh, as always, uh, you know, we're going to get plenty of air through here. It's not the size of the holes here that really matter. It's the size of this hole here. Now, I make that to be three and a half, four millimetres in size, uh, going by my calipers. Uh, so, yeah, it's a big old chunky hole we've got here. There's, I'll come back to the airflow at the end and we'll talk about that. But, yeah, you've got one, two, three, four. Sorry. I can't count. We have three air holes going on here. One, two, three. Uh, we've got the engraving, as always here, and a little Vapor Giant logo going on here. Uh, we have an adjustable 510 pin here as well, uh, and then we have the build deck. Now, as far as the build deck goes, it's nothing you haven't seen before. Uh, you, yeah, you've seen it before. Now the channels that you see here, they're 3 millimeters in uh, width, so I'll put a build in it. Uh, I'll show you the rest of the tank and then I'll put a build in it, but uh, very, very easy to build in. So we have our, our chamber here that is, you know, it's going to screw on here, like that. And this is all nice and solid, the finish on it is perfect, um, I, I do not have any complaints with the way this has been made, the threading, nothing, it's absolutely perfect in my opinion. So you have your Pyrex glass tank, that just pops on there, like that. Now we do have these cages, um, now there's various different designs that you can buy. Um, I believe this is the one that came with it, they did send me this one on as well. Uh, so you can see that you've got threading at the top here and bottom. Now the threading at the bottom is kind of stepped and uh, that goes down the way. The threading at the top, uh, well, goes up the way. And you can see you've got threading on here and that just screws on like that. No issues whatsoever. Don't feel you have to, you know, crank it shut. Um, it can be a bit of a sod to get this off. I've been using my vape grips when I want to change the, you know, the protector. I have to get on there and grip it. Uh, but yeah, no problems. And then this just goes on here like so. And you have one fully assembled tank. 
you also get the supply drip tip with it which is, is very very nice once again stainless steel now what I will say is you are if you include this drip tip that's on it you are just under 75 millimeters in height for this tank here this whole thing that's not including the 510 if I change the drip tip out you know if I well if I take the drip tip off it takes it down to 53 millimeters in height which for a five and a half mil tank yeah to be expected um, I have been using it with this but depending on what I've been vaping it on if I'm feeling a bit conscious then I will change this out to a standard drip tip because uh, it's just massive uh, with like this now what I'm going to do is stick a build in it just now stick a build in just unscrew this now this is one of the great things is that you can get to the build without emptying the tank major bonus now this is you know for a lot of you this is just going to be second nature building on this uh, you know, I'm just taking my coil and, you know, that's it. Th th there's nothing, uh, you know, exciting about building in this, shall we say, uh, other than trying to do it and keep it in camera. Um, so I'll just pop that under there, tighten that off, spin this round where I can get a hold of it, and I'll tighten this off. And there we go. Now I've just to pulse this and tighten that up, and that'll do me nicely for just now. I've come out at 1 ohm in this and yeah, that suits me fine. That was 0.35mm cantle that I'm using uh, around a 2.5mm drill bit. As far as cotton goes, this is uh, it's quite a bit of a standard build now. Uh, remember you've got your, your channel here, this is where your juice is going to go up. You do not have any juice flow control on this Vapor Giant anymore. You used to get them, but uh, we don't have it on this. So all I've been doing is, and using a heavy VG as well, is just making sure that the cotton sits down on this ledge. That's all I'm doing. Same on the other side, I'll just make sure that the cotton sits on this ledge here. Before I do any of that, I actually forgot to show this, uh, and this is very uh, remiss of me, uh, but yes, you can take this to bits and you can, can clean it out. Uh, you know, typical Vapor Giant build quality is just superb. And that just threads straight back on there like that. Right, let's get some liquid on here. So that's me kind of just up there, and all I'm going to do now is just push this cotton down like that. That's it. That's all I've been doing. In fact, it's the same build that I've been doing on my serpents and I've been having no issues whatsoever. Heavy VG works great. Um, and there we go. That's it. And just spread that out a little bit there. And there we go. That's me. Now, this is kind of where um, things go wrong for me a bit. Now, we used to have just, uh, you know, you could top up your juice from the top on the old Vapor Giants. That's changed. You now have to fill from the bottom. And this gap here uh, is not very large. If I take my, my juice bottle and I pop that down there and let's start filling this up. I have to pulse it almost. Because if I go too fast uh, then, well, depending on how thick your juice is, if you're using a thick VG, then it will just spill over. Uh, I'm using cream tea by Trip Hammer here, um, and it's a, it's a 70 30, if I remember right, on the VG side. But you can see I'm, I'm having to pulse this. Uh, this is what I would consider to be a, a fairly standard nozzle. Um, uh, you, you really do need a needle. You, you need a needle uh, nozzle to, to fill this up quickly. And that is just a negative for me. Right, I'm going to go away and spend some time filling this up, okay? So that's me, you got as much juice in there. <laughs> Actually, I'm fed up waiting on it. Uh, so I'm just going to take my build, pop it in there, and screw this down. And that's me. Jobs are good in. And there we go, the Vapor Giant V3. Mini. I'll cover all the pros and cons when we go back up top, but uh, you know, just really to just say, you know, main differences here is we have adjustable, adjustable. <laughs> we have adjustable airflow control on the outside here, which we never had in the Vapor Giants before. Um, you know, we've got an adjustable 510 here. 
and um, we've got these tank protectors which uh, do come in various designs you can leave the build intact remove it from the bottom and fill this up with juice which is something we never had on the vapor giants before we do not have the top fill however we have to fill from the bottom okay let's just get straight to it uh to start off it is 23 millimeters in diameter you know bear that in mind uh it doesn't seem to matter quite as much these days because a lot of you know box mods um, are, are, are wider than 23 millimeters anyway so um, it's not as big an issue as it used to be um, the size of it uh, now I know for a fact I've seen pictures uh, that there is going to be a, a nano kit um, you know and uh, that's the thing if you go to Intaste and you look at the old Vapor Giants the previous models you will see a, a raft of different customization things. You, you can get smaller tanks. You can get you can customize them basically. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come up with with this one uh, because I know for maybe not so much in the rest of the EU, but certainly I think in the UK most people would like a, a smaller tank, um, five and a half mil. Well. That's actually a generalisation. There's a lot of people that do prefer bigger tanks in the UK. I know this for a fact. Um, however, I'm rambling already. I'm still hungover. I need to go back to my bed. It's not so bad once you... It's the drip tip. It has to be said that the drip tip does... Um, yes, does make it rather large. Uh, I mean, if I put a tiny wee drip tip on it like that, it's not quite so bad. The flavour from this is, if you've had any of the Vapor Giants, you'll be happy to know it's just as good. Um, it's just as good. There, there's no, it's not worse or anything like that. I wouldn't say it's significantly better. Uh, for me, the juice I vape, it just seems to be the same. And I'm happy about that. Um, building on it, dead easy. I mean, the build deck is nothing we haven't seen before. What I did show you in the close-ups, I would suggest slightly more cotton than that. Um, and make sure you spread it out across that ledge. Um, it, it just, I mean, I can take this up to a 1 ohm coil, I can take this up to 25, 28 watts, no problem at all. It wicks like crazy, and I like it for that. Um, Price-wise, yes, there are other devices out there that can give you the same kind of vape for, I mean, the Serpent, for example. Now... I don't normally like doing this comparison type thing, but as much as I, I mean, I have three serpents, very similar to build on um, now, and the flavours comparable. And as much as I really like the serpent, the serpent is twenty five pounds, and it's not up to scratch. It's not built as well as this. This is built very very well. The threading. Uh, the way everything fits together, uh, uh, the design is just, you know, it's a bit more premium product. And uh, yes, I, I, it's, like I say, as much as I love the Serpent, this is a lot better quality. Is it better vape quality? No, not in my opinion. I love the fact we now have the airflow control ring. Uh, that's something that was sadly missing from the previous models. Uh, we now have it and I can get a lung hit from this. It's it's slightly airier than say the, the Hurricane or the Uber Toot. You can make it airier but you can tighten it right off and do a, a mouth to lung. Um, it, it's got a lot going for it this thing. Um, filling it up with juice, we've lost the top fill which in some respects is uh, not so great because top fill is easy. Bottom fill is you have to take the mod off. Well you don't have to take the to bits completely but the gap to get the juice into is tiny it's tiny it's really thin and unless you have a needle nose bottle uh, then it's a slow drawn out process to fill this up and that is my biggest negative about this device I have a lot of love for this I think it's a great RTA I really really do I think it's great um, just filling it up is a pain in the ass it is, it's just a pain in the ass. 
the sleeves are not going to be to everybody's yeah you know, there's many to choose from um and you can go on the site and have a look and see what catches your eye i'm a bit of an old uh, retro vapor and i like these was it the old doc dave and stuff like that uh, or Sotong used to do stainless steel covers for like the Orion and the, the GG stuff. I used to love these and I still love them so it's not an issue for me, it's all personal taste there. The thing at the end of the day for me, would I have bought this? I got this free for review. Quite simply put, yes I would. I would thoroughly recommend this to anybody that is an RTA fan, um, anybody that's had a vapor giant in the past, Yes, I would buy this and I would recommend this. T even with the niggles, with the filling it and yeah, I would still buy it. I like it that much. Just bear in mind that when you're building it, you know, you want to spread the cotton out on that ledge. You don't have to put, well I don't put cotton down the little gully, the little channel. Just make sure you've got plenty of cotton spread out across that ledge and you're good to go. Uh, that's it, I'm going to stop here. Um, do you know, thank you to Nico uh, for sending this on. I did get it free for review. Thumbs up from me on this one. Really like it. We'll catch you later. Take care now. Bye.